What's up, coding fans? Here we are at appending an array, and this is where things start getting a little bit complicated and weird, but it allows us to do a lot with a little bit of code. Um, so we have this new thing, let all coordinates equal world dot all possible coordinates. And so what this is gonna do is allow us to use this code on multiple sized maps. Um, so this is an eight by eight map, but if I, can, if I can copy and paste this code and put this code on a 12 by 12 map and it'll do the same thing. Um, and it's kind of like um, allowing your apps that you might write uh, to run on different screen sizes for the iPhone or iPad. So you don't have to write multiple apps, multiples of the same app for different size phones. So you could have an app run on like the SE and the 8 Plus or the iPad Pro and it would scale to the size of the screen, which is pretty neat. Also, it would scale to vertical versus horizontal, uh, kind of like we have here. So this is pretty uh, important for us. And then we also have a new array. It's an empty array that they call block set of type coordinate, meaning we are gonna designate what goes in here as places. We're gonna do it here. So we've got four coordinate and all coordinates. And then it gives us some direction here. Um, and it says, all right, check for coordinates with a column greater than five, okay, or row less than four. So greater than five, so not zero, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, so six and seven. And then or row less than four. So zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, so when we code this, we should get all these blocks here and below, and then all these blocks here. Now, it's an or statement, meaning it's going to do both these and these. Okay, so let's see, they've already got us done. So if coordinate.column is greater than two, well, we need this to be greater than five, as you saw. So let's change that two to a five. Um, and then it says, or, and we've got the double and. So there's two ways you can do this. You can highlight it and hit this or statement right there, and then it naturally auto-populates this bool, and we can just hit delete on that, okay? Or if you look over here at our keypad, a, if we flick down on A twice, we will get that and you can write or that way as well. It just depends on um, what you wanna do. And it says rows less than or equal to four. So I'm gonna change that to a four, okay? Um, and then it says append block set. So we're just gonna take our um, array block set dot append. And then we're going to append whatever it was. We're going to append it in our name for our loop. So our, our loop name is coordinate. So we're going to append this in coordinate. Um, and this is going to get a little bit tricky. And I'll kind of give you an example here in just a second. So we've got to tell them what we want to do. So this is kind of um, what it is. So it's like, hey, if I want you to go put something at each table in the classroom. All right, so four coordinate and all coordinates. All right, so in my classroom, okay, at each table. So these coordinates here are where we want it. So four coordinate and all coordinate is like if this map is my classroom. So on this map, okay, at these spaces, I want you to put the, you know, lab equipment or the, the equipment that we're gonna need for the day there. So put an iPad at every table. Cool, all right, so in my room, we're at each, at each table, put the equipment there. And then, oh, what do you want me to put there? Well, four, and once again, you can call this whatever you want. You can call it tables or whatever, but we're gonna go coordinate. All right, so four coordinate in block set, okay? So we have our empty array. We didn't put anything in there. So this is allows us to manipulate this as we want it. Um, so for coordinate in block set, we're going to put, uh, what does it say, six blocks. So I need a for loop. 
Okay, so for one through six, we're gonna world dot place dot place uh, item capital block with parentheses at lowercase coordinate. Remember, we need to reference whatever our uh, loop name is. So lowercase coordinate. All right. So that makes this usable code. <coughs> um, We'll run this a little bit faster. And you'll notice it's going to put six blocks at all the rows that are less than four. So, from, yeah. All right, so that's three, which is less than four. So it's not going to do this one. But all of our columns that are greater than five, so both columns here. So that's going to be our or loop. Now, we could do something else. We could say, oh, and a gym, six blocks and a gym. We could say world.place gym, and it would place six blocks and a gym on top. Okay? That's or. If we switch or, and that gets you the check mark. If we switch or to and, uh, you'll notice that it's going to be a little bit different. Um, delete that. We're going to go ahead and run this fastest. And with and, both have to be true. Okay, so they're going to need to be greater than five in the columns. So just these ones on the right and less than four. So it'll just be this small part. So and has to follow everything in here or we'll do both. So just to show you again, um, I'm just going to go ahead and flick down on A twice and we'll run it faster so that we can get this done again. So four coordinate and all coordinates tells you, uh, there it is. So we got hollow blocks, which is just the glitch. Um, and all you gotta do is like double tap, flick up, but I think it's gonna run all the way through. I'll just let it do it. Um, so four coordinate and all coordinates. So on this map, okay, we're gonna place block set. Okay, the set of blocks that we have. We'll tell you what they are later, okay? And then for these coordinates, for the coordinates that I'm about to name here on this map, four coordinates that I'm gonna name on this map, that's where I want you to put the block set, okay? And then after that, we just define what we want in our, what kind of stuff we want to do with our block set, okay? And that's kind of the way it goes. Um, it really does help us uh, manipulate this. And if you think about having to do a for loop for each place, you know, on a 12 by 12, that is 144 different lines of code. And here we are with just some kind of, it's not simple code, but it's short, but it, it, and it, it, it does allow us to really manipulate this. All right, we'll see you on the next one, which is really fun, I think.